Good morning! <laughs> Heading out to a different lake today. Um, I don't know how much luck I'm going to have. I'm always excited to hit a new lake, but uh, we'll see what we can get. There's supposed to be uh, walleye. We can't keep any. There's pike. There's perch. Um, we'll have a we'll check it out. Um, this is a total different strategy today than chasing trout. So uh, yeah, come with me. Let's see what we can catch. It is right now. Um, 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 six o'clock in the morning. I got about an hour's drive. Let's catch some great big gators. <laughs> Kapow! Alrighty, folks. We are at the destination grabbing the live scope loading up little Timmy here and then we're heading out anybody that knows central Alberta probably knows where I am I'm not going out there too far um, I'm gonna find nine ten feet of water and yeah see what we can catch see you out there alrighty folks I like to have uh, three holes one for my transducer and then one for each rod yeah so that should clear up any doubts that you might have about ice ice depth I am pretty close to shore and this is right at the boat launch at uh, burnt stick so I'm not going to go too much farther out because I'm a chicken. And yeah, let's fish. Oh, there's something huge on the screen. Huge. Look at that mark. Can you see that mark? He might be coming for this dead weight here. Oh yeah, he's coming for this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That is huge. Which one's he going to hit? Oh man, that's a huge mark. Come on, buddy. He is going to smoke it. Oh, that's a big fish. I think. I think that's a big fish. Oh man, that was a big old jack for sure. I got the rattle bait on this side to kind of bring them in and a minnow on a jig on this one for the dead stick. Jeez, I haven't even got my camera gear set up yet. <laughs> Already a big fish. Um, I'm gonna move my live scope so you folks can see it a little better. Um, back in a minute. That pike just broke me right off, man. So I just had a huge pike break me off. Broke me off. Uh, I think it was a huge pike. It was a great big mark anyways. I might try putting on a dinner bell and a, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put on a dinner bell with a minnow head and see how that does. So I got this super cool tackle box called the stone tackle box and it's a little disorganized right now, but it is amazing for keeping your stuff. It floats. I'm gonna go, oh, well, let's try that fluorescent green tungsten one. I'm gonna try this guy right now, folks. But the old frostbite dinner bell, it's pretty bright. I'm gonna put this big, huge head on, on my dinner bell. Big old minnow head. chum it up a bit that's what I like to do right there the old dinner bell and a minnow head got him I got him oh yeah I got him oh 
Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah. Oh, it's a pike. It's a snod rocket. <laughs> We're on, folks. Oh, he's all wrapped up. I am not sticking my mouth, my hand in that guy's mouth. Here we go. Here we go. Saved him. He's bleeding a bit. Uh oh. First pike on the board, folks. <laughs> See ya, buddy. <laughs> he took off in a hurry. Pooped all over and he was bleeding just a little, but I think he'll be fine. That little guy wanted that dinner bell in a big way. <laughs> Is a wicked view of the mountains. Right next to Burn Stick. That, uh, I mean, they're still miles away, but what a beautiful spot to fish, folks. Am I right? It is beautiful. Here we go, folks. I am putting on the old gold dinner bell. This one's not tungsten, the medium-sized frostbite dinner bell, and a minnow head. So I know pike, um, I know the ones in Sylvan anyways, really, really go after the gold. Yeah, I think I better put those gloves on. <sighs> they at least stop the wind. They're called series. And they have these grips on them. They came with a Carl's tackle box, a mystery tackle box that I ordered a couple years ago. And they got these grips for grabbing fish that are just incredible. I think the weatherman lied. I think it's a little colder. Oh, something coming after me. Yep, come on, got him, I got him. I don't know what it is, but I got him. Oh yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, it's a pike. Yes! Just a little snot rocket. Little snotty. He liked that dinner bell. Shit. We got him, folks. Little snot rocket. Oh, look at the scars on this guy. Look at the scars on his back, man. He's had a tough life, this guy, but he's got some some weird scars all over his back. Like something bigger tried to eat him. <laughs> but we're gonna let him go. Is this thing on? <laughs> Come on. I got a whole minnow on a medium dinner bell. Something should hammer it. No way they can't see it. <laughs> yeah, they can't miss that. If a pike sees that, he is going to hammer it. Come on, three quarters of a battery left. I need to catch one more fish. Oh, what, something hitting it right now? Yep, something's hitting it. I got him, I got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not rocket, bigger one. That's a bigger one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I always get nervous right around the hole. Oh yeah, that's a bigger one. Oh, 
a little bit bigger. Beautiful colors. I ain't sticking my fingers in your mouth. I learned my lesson. I'll get you going. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> All right. You gotta open up though. Here we go. Let's get that out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm trying to let you go. There you go. There you go. Ah, you're biting my finger. <laughs> there it is, number three. This one doesn't have a bunch of stuff along his back, so not a bad looking pike. Let's let him go. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for the splash. <laughs> Yeah, get the mountains in behind me. <laughs> Anyways, that was it for today, folks. I think I did all right. I went through three GoPro batteries and caught three slew sharks. <laughs> so it was good. Um, yeah, if you like what you saw, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Ka-pow!